When you arrive in South Africa, if these people who, well, if these 60,000 people who signed the petition protest against you and what you're doing here, what are you going to do? Well, first of all, it's not true that 60,000 South Africans signed a petition. That's just an online petition that was on pervert websites all over the world. So I don't believe that those people were all South Africans. I think probably the minority of those people were South Africans. Sadly, probably most of the people that signed it were from the United States because the United States seems to be taking the lead role in promoting homosexuality all over the world. It makes me kind of embarrassed to be an American, but that's really the truth. Hotels and restaurants are saying that they're not going to allow you in. Have you sorted out your accommodation yet? Oh yeah, of course. You know, we have hotel rooms. We we can go to whatever restaurant we want. It's just that when we when we listed meeting locations for the actual event itself, those were the locations that were canceled. So, you know, obviously we can just walk into a hotel when we get there and just book into a room. It's not like anybody's going to know who I am. But, uh, you know, as far as like having a banquet room where we could have a big preaching service, three different hotels have already canceled our banquet room. So we've, we've booked a fourth location, but we're not publicly disclosing that location because I know that as soon as I disclose it, it's probably going to be canceled within 24 hours because that seems to be the pattern over there. Do you understand why people are reacting this way towards you? Oh, of course I understand that there are wicked, godless, you know, people in this world who hate the Lord Jesus Christ and hate the Bible. So, of course, they're going to hate an ambassador of Jesus Christ because they hate Jesus Christ himself. Pope Francis has said that Christians should apologize to, to gays. What do you think of that? Well, I think Pope Francis should apologize to Christians for being such a compromising, you know, false prophet. I mean, to sit there and say that we should uh, to, to apologize to gays, first of all, I don't use the word gay because gay means happy. And they're not happy, they're perverted. So if Pope Francis were a real man of God, he would actually preach what the Bible said, you know, in Leviticus chapter 20 and Romans chapter 1 and 2 Peter chapter 2. But, you know, Pope Francis is, is not a man of God. He's a false prophet, you know, and Catholicism is a false religion. So are you saying Pope Francis's interpretation of the Bible is wrong? I don't even remember Pope Francis even attempting to interpret the Bible. He just says whatever he believes. I mean, he speaks out of his own wicked heart. So, I, you know, I don't remember Pope Francis ever interpreting Romans 1 or, or any other scripture that was, that was salient to this issue. He doesn't preach the Bible. He's part of a pagan, hocus-pocus, superstitious Catholic religion that really isn't based on the Bible. I know people who are Christian and who, who don't hate the Bible, but, but they don't have a problem with gay people. Well, then they aren't a Christian because they obviously don't believe in the God of the Bible. There are many people who claim to be a Christian and they believe in this figment of their imagination, this God that's sort of like Santa Claus that allows every manner of sin and filth and perversion. But there is no real Christian who accepts homosexuality. But wouldn't you say God accepts everyone? Isn't that... Absolutely not. God created a place called hell where people burn for all eternity. And he said that anyone who does not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. The Bible says he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. So, no, in order to be saved, people have to put their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Otherwise, they're going to go to hell when they die. So, God doesn't just accept everyone. No, you, you have to come to him and, and, you know, put your faith in Jesus Christ. The Bible says that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. But if people reject the truth of God's word and they don't believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, they're, they're absolutely not going to be accepted. Can't the Bible be interpreted in different ways? That's, you know, that's just something that people bring up when they want to try to shy away from what the Bible clearly says. There are certain things in the Bible that are cryptic, you know, parables and, and different things that are symbolic. And sure, those things can be interpreted in different ways. But there are many things in the Bible that are crystal clear, and there's only one way to interpret them. I mean, when God says that if a man lies with a man, that he shall be put to death, I mean, that's pretty clear. It's, it's pretty obvious, and there are many scriptures like that all throughout the Bible. And that's why no serious theologian of the Bible has ever come up with this crazy notion that the Bible somehow is okay with homosexuality. It's only radical sodomite activists that would even come up with such a bizarre notion. What if one of your kids came to you and said that they were gay? Well, first of all, that's never going to happen because you, you make it seem like it's just a random occurrence. 
you know, that, oh, oh, whoops, I'm gay. Like people are just born that way, which is a total lie. The reason that people are homosexual is because the Bible says they've been given over to a reprobate mind and that they're haters of God in Romans chapter one. Well, I'm not raising my children to be God hating individuals. So they're not going to grow up and be a homosexual. But, but to me, you might as well ask me, well, what if your child grew up to be a pedophile? What if your child became a child rapist or a serial killer? Well, you know, obviously anyone whose child grew up to be such a monstrous person would be horrified and disgusted by them. But I don't believe that that will ever happen because the Bible says that if we train up a child in the way he should go, when he's old, he'll not depart from it. So you think that gay people are the same as serial killers and pedophiles? Well, they're not necessarily the same as serial killers, but they are absolutely the same as pedophiles. I believe that all homosexuals are pedophiles. If you actually study the history of homosexuality, even back into ancient Greece and the ancient Roman Empire, pedophilia has always been part and parcel of the homosexual agenda. And all over the world, the homosexual agenda's goal is to keep lowering the age of consent. I mean, in places like the Netherlands, they have it down to like 12 years old, and they're constantly trying to push for that in the United States and everywhere else to lower it to 16, 14, 12, because these homosexuals are pedophiles by nature. This is part and parcel of their, their so-called lifestyle.